Hello guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video on my channel. Now Capcom has been very successful with the games they've been making recently, especially with the remakes like Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 4 Remake, which turned out to be a massive financial success for Capcom, so it's a dead giveaway that they're already going to give some of the older games the same remake treatment which they did with Resident Evil 2 Remake and the Resident Evil 4 Remake. So let's find out in this video which of these games could turn out to be the next remake from Capcom. Now before I start the video, I just want to say thank you to those people who already subscribe and support my channel. And if you're new to this channel, do make sure to watch my video to the end. And if you do like my content, do make sure to subscribe and support this channel so I can make more of these videos for you guys. Now remember, this is just going to be my speculation to what I think and based on what fans has been asking Capcom. And Capcom has been taking a feedback on board from the fans and they've been doing these forums where people can do their honest opinions and tell them what they expect from Capcom moving forward. So here's a list of the games we can expect from Capcom. I'm going to start the video with Resident Evil 1 Remake. Now Resident Evil 1 already had a remake treatment and that game is one of the best if not the best Resident Evil game up until to this date. Now Resident Evil 1 is the game which started the whole Resident Evil franchise and it actually defined the survival horror genre for the horror gaming. That was a game which introduced us to the survival horror elements where you feel claustrophobic and stuck in this beautifully crafted mansion which had all these doors which you can't open, it had a metroidvania style. And the game has a mystery to it. You don't know what is going on, what has caused this zombie outbreak. You are one of the survivors of these stars members who are also stuck with you, but they all dislocated into different positions throughout the mansion. Then there are puzzles you have to solve, you have to find the keys throughout the mansion. You're looking everywhere in every corner of that beautiful mansion, just trying to find ammo, herbs and every key items you can find in order to survive the survival horror elements of that first game. This is the game which has corrupted this new franchise for them which is the most successful franchise they had in their gaming division. I personally think they already made Resident Evil 2 Remake, 3 Remake and 4 Remake so I think it would make sense to make a Resident Evil 1 Remake which would make canonical sense to what is going on because you started that game with Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. We already seen Chris Redfield quite recently and Jill Valentine but we haven't seen the origins of what has happened, what has started this whole Resident Evil outbreak, especially for the people who has never played Resident Evil titles. I think Resident Evil 1 Remake would bring them into the Resident Evil franchise and I think Capcom would like to captivate that and I think they will be working on Resident Evil 1 Remake. Now the next game it's one of the fan favorite games which fan has been asking for ages from Capcom and that is Resident Evil Code Veronica. Now unlike Resident Evil 4 which turned out to be an action survival horror game, Resident Evil Code Veronica actually adopted the style of Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3. And throughout the game you play the two protagonists, you have Chris Redfield and Claire Redfield and this game presents you with Albert Wesker and Albert Wesker we all know is he is one of the best if not the best antagonist of the Resident Evil franchise. Now I know Code Veronica wasn't a financially successful game for Resident Evil franchise and the Resident Evil Code Veronica story wasn't the best thing ever and some of the characters in the game like Steve was very generic and the voice acting was really bad. However the quality of Code Veronica actually come from its gameplay. It plays very similar to the original OG Resident Evil titles where you have to do puzzle solving, um, backtracking and this time around you had 3D environment which was rendered rather than having a backdrop or a background images which they had in the OG Resident Evil games and this game does everything right by the books of Resident Evil where you could expect from a survival horror Resident Evil title it did everything and even the elements you play with the um, Claire Redfield and Chris Redfield both of them were enjoyable. Now we know that they bring over the shoulder 
Camera Perspective with the Resident Evil 2 remake so they can do the same treatment with the Code Veronica. And you can imagine how that game is going to look with the RE engine and the new Camera Perspective. Obviously they can do a treatment the same way they did with the Resident Evil 2 remake. That they can add some story elements, change some voice acting and obviously make it more grittier. And fans have been dying to see Code Veronica's remake treatment and i think capcom is already aware of it i would be surprised if capcom doesn't announce this game in the next couple of years capcom is aware how much this is fan favorite people have been asking for this game for ages and this game has been on the back burner since when it came out and it has been a long time so i think this game is already in the work from capcom now another title which is not from resident evil franchise but i think it requires a remake treatment it's called Dino Crisis. Think about Resident Evil title on steroids and instead of zombies, you have a bunch of T-Rexes or dinosaurs. For some people, Dino Crisis is still one of the favorite franchises ever, especially the Dino Crisis 1 and 2. But Dino Crisis actually plays very close or very similar to Res original Resident Evil titles like Resident Evil 1, 2 and 3. However, it was very fast paced and the Puzzles weren't very hard as compared to the original Resident Evil titles. However, it improved on the gameplay mechanics. And if you love horror themed dinosaur game, I think Dino Crisis would be that for Capcom. Now, for the past couple of years, there has been uh, a massive outcry from fans who wanted to see a uh, Code Veronica remake and also Dino Crisis remake. I think Capcom is already aware of it. And they, I think Capcom this time around, they want to revitalize all their dead franchise so i think dino crisis would be one of them and it would have dinosaurs instead of zombies so which would attract a lot of new fan base for capcom so i think capcom is already aware of it um, so I think Dino Crisis personally I think would be one of those games which might be getting a remake treatment sooner than later. Now the next title I think they might be working on which they have kind of teased in Resident Evil 4 remake with Albert Wesker. It might be Resident Evil 5 remake. Now I'm not saying Resident Evil 5 is the best game out there. I know it's not the best game and it's nowhere near a survival horror Resident Evil title. However Capcom have seen a massive success for Resident Evil 4 remake. And Resident Evil 4 Remake, as much as I love that game, is not a survival horror game. It has survival horror elements, but it's an action horror game. There are more horror elements for the remake, for the Special 4 Remake, which is one of the best remakes out there. So I think they might be going down the route the same way with the Resident Evil 5 Remake. And I think they might dial down slightly on the action bit and dial up on the horror elements which were missing. And for Capcom, that Resident Evil 5, it's one of the best selling titles out there for Resident Evil franchise. Even though as much as we, let's say, don't like that game, for Capcom, that game was a very successful game. However, I think this game would require a lot of remake treatment. They need to look at the game as what the game was and try to change it to look more like Resident Evil 4. But at the same time, it wouldn't be the same Resident Evil 5 title we know. So we don't know, but I think from my speculation, and that's just my speculation, my personal opinion, I think I know how Capcom is like. And what they tease in Resident Evil 4 Remake towards the end, I think they might be working with the Resident Evil 5 title. I wouldn't be surprised if they announce this game in the next couple of years as their next remake title, which they've been working on. Now we know Capcom has been killing recently with the remake, especially with the survival horror games. So I think it would be best time to bring their dead franchise back to life with Haunting Ground. If you don't know, Haunting Ground is a survival horror game where you play this character called Fiona who end up being captured onto this castle. Now this castle is full of puzzles, full of traps and there is always a stalker enemies which you are chasing you and you will have to hide. Now in this game, unlike Resident Evil titles, you don't fight back but you can hide. You also make a friend, the dog, who also aids you throughout the game and I think it was one of the best survival horror game which wasn't let's say a resident evil title which came out from capcom but we haven't seen any more haunting ground since that first game it was a spiritual successor from the capcom's own clock tower game which was like a point and click game 
where you have this scissor man who will constantly chase you and you have to survive in that castle. So I think Haunting Ground was more like a spiritual successor of that game. But since that time, Capcom has been very quiet and it's been a very long time since we have seen that game. I think 23 years or 22 years. So I think it would be a perfect time. And I think Capcom does want to experiment with the new franchises. I think Haunting Ground would be good because they've been killing with the survival horror games now also remember that game was very successful financially and this time around we have seen a lot of survival horror games coming out in the form of Alan Wake 2, Dead Space so I think Haunting Ground would perfectly fit with today's modern games and because it plays very similar and if they did the remake treatment they if they done it right that game could turn out to be another franchise which could be very financially successful for Capcom, not just Resident Evil title. Resident Evil Zero. I know this isn't the best Resident Evil title. I know there is a lot of problems and it's a very underrated Resident Evil title due to the, the mechanics which they choose to implement in Resident Evil Zero. The game has very annoying elements which especially with the item management which was the reason as to why and especially overall the theme of the game and the enemies variety which just was more animal rather than zombies and i think that was one of the things which people didn't like about resident evil zero however resident evil zero has the potential to be one of the best resident evil titles out there because the game plays actually very close to resident evil one and it has very similar themes, especially if you play Resident 1 Remake and Zero Remake. It also presents you with the puzzles and the item management, which was obviously present from the res original Resident Evil titles. However, personally, I don't think Resident Evil Zero would be uh, the next remake. But down the line, I think Capcom would make a remake out of this game. And they'll do a remake treatment where they would overhaul and fix those mistakes which was present on the original game and they'll tweak with the elements of the story and I, I think they could make that game as one of the great Resident Evil titles. And lastly, I think they might be remaking a Dead Rising 1 remake. Dead Rising is one of those comedy horror games for Capcom and it's been very successful. Well, not, I wouldn't say it's on the level of Resident Evil titles. However, it has garnered a lot of uh, fan base out there. If they go back, to what the Dead Rising 1 was and add those fun elements but at the same time keep the story a bit more serious than more sillier. Capcom loves to make Dead Rising so I don't see why not and I think uh, there has been some rumors that they're making Dead Rising 1 remake so it might turn out to be true that they might be going back to the original Dead Rising 1. Remember Dead Rising is not Resident Evil so it doesn't need to play the same way as Resident Evil does. However the recent title has been quite silly and they hasn't been very successful for Capcom financially so I think with the brand new RE engine now they I think they will overhaul the whole gameplay element and they might make it slightly more serious but more comedy and more fun game compared to what Resident Evil is and we might don't know that they might do an announcement in a summer gaming fest that's just my a speculation don't take my word for it so these are the, some of the games which i think capcom are already working on remaking them and bringing some of those dead franchises back to life or some of those games which has been called classic and doing a remake treatment and i think that's what capcom has been doing for the past few years now i'm not expert you can disagree with that this is just my opinions now which of these games from the list you think has a higher chance of getting a remake treatment or which game do you think is already in the work at Capcom please do let me know in the comment section down below now that's it for the video thank you so much for watching the whole video if you have and please do make sure to come back on this channel to watch more of my videos because I love to do speculation reviews and reactions so until then look after yourself have a good one